my channel welcome back to a brand new video today i am filming a bit of a home content type haul we have predominantly everything from home sense we have some bits from tk maxx and i also have a few bits that i bought recently from the white company which i thought i would include within this video as well but home sense has pretty much got all their christmas stock in if you know with the autumn stock, you've got to get in there quick. As soon as you see it, you've got to buy it. So I've got quite a few festive finds for today and I thought I would share them all with you. So if you're not already, make sure you're set with a nice drink in hand, snacks on the go, candle lit, feet up, and without further ado, let's get into the video. Before I do show you everything that I bought, we do have a sponsor for today's video from Ufi. I have been kindly sent their uh, floodlight camera, which is something that we have been on the hunt for, for, I'm gonna say, a couple of months. We had a bit of an incident <laughs> with my car on the driveway uh, it's been keyed and entered and some things taken which is not good luckily nothing of value which is amazing it was just like a bag full of like barney's spare dog bags and face masks and all just random stuff that i keep in the car as car essentials and it's all gone so i think there was like a sat nav in there as well but anyway it's fine it's fine it's all been reported and everything but ever since that incident we've been like we need to get a floodlight camera to deter any people coming onto the drive we can see people from the eufy doorbell that we currently have set up on our front door but obviously there's no floodlight system to deter people they don't know that they're necessarily being filmed and it's obviously not as bright with the floodlight it's like whoa back off you know it's good security so we have kind of been sent this 2k full hd floodlight camera what's great about this it has 360 degree camera coverage as well which i think again is so important with the angle of the front of our house to be able to get the full look it's great and we could even put it on the corner of the house maybe where it can go down the side alley as well i might get tom to do that but this camera is definitely not the first UP product we have had in the past we've purchased products in the past we've been sent products in the past and we're working with them on a regular basis so we're so impressed with the quality of their products that i definitely want to get a few more i still have my eyes on some indoor cameras they have a new product launching soon, which I'm hoping to get my hands on. I love how like sleek and minimal their design is as well. It always looks really modern. It's not an eyesore, which some camera systems and security systems can be like, whoa, that is just so ugly. If I just take off the blue film, I know one of their most popular products as well are baby monitors. So they have really a wide range of um, products to choose from. So this is the system. It has the wiring at the back, which all needs to be set up. We are getting our electrician back to finish off our sockets and switches. Their products are really easy to install. Most of, in fact, all the products that we've got currently are battery powered and super easy. I mean, I set them up. Then you also get the mounting pack. And then in here, we have the quick start guide and then the little stickers that you can pop on your house just to make sure people know they are being watched. The little charger cable and some other screws and everything to actually install it to the wall. So I'll show you guys once it's in situ over on my Instagram home workout. So stay tuned for that. The picture will probably already be live if you want to see it in the place and what it looks like. Then you can find that on Freya Farrington Home on Instagram. It's got a rating of IP65, which essentially means it's weatherproof. I've learned that with our like spotlights and things, the ones that need to be in the shower have need to have an IP of 65. It has military graded encrypted software however that works i mean that's beyond my knowledge but it just essentially means that you can be rest assured that the storage of your footage is trusted and completely safe works with voice assist as well so you can do commands and things and the two-way audio allows you to be able to speak to whoever you can see barney in the garden i quite often use that function on our back camera if he's doing something in the garden he shouldn't be doing to tell him to stop or to come back inside whatever it is i can use that two-way audio which is really good and then in order to actually view the footage you just download the eufy security app which i currently have on my phone but you really easily add a device and then you can live view as well as see your recorded history you get instant notifications when there's any kind of movement detected it has multi-user access as well so tom can also have it on his device and you also have the ability to choose the activity 
sensitivity zone in order to reduce any kind of like false notifications so that your phone is just not constantly dinging if a leaf is blowing in the garden. So that is our latest product from Eufy that I wanted to share with you and just recommend above all just to keep you and your family protected and if like me you were after something specifically with a floodlight which we were for the front of our house our neighbours have one as well so it just helps to really deter any potential break-ins with our cars or house that was not pleasant so yeah thank you Eufy for coming to my rescue if you do want to get your hands on one of the floodlight cameras I will leave a link to it in the description box below however you will also be in with the chance of winning your very own we are running a giveaway over on my Instagram I'll leave all the details and the information in the description box below but if you do head over to Frey Frankton Home on Instagram you can find all the details in my post with Eufy and best of luck to everyone who enters I will also leave a discount code for you guys so make sure to take advantage of that if you do want to get your hands on this camera and now let's get on to the haul so let's start with home scent and then we'll move on to TK Maxx and then I'll show you the white company bits. Like I said, quite a few festive finds, but also some practical finds, hence this one. We have upgraded ourselves to a Super King bed. We did actually already have a Super King duvet, but we needed a fitted sheet. So I found this one from Reed Family Linens. The RRP of this fitted sheet for a Super King bed is £109 and I got this for £19.99. Next up I have this to share with you which is a cute little wooden decorative piece for Christmas. It is of course a little Christmas tree on a stand. I love the kind of whitewash wood to this. It's not a orangey wood and it was only £7.99. Of course I had to pick up a candle or two or three maybe more. This one from Sand and Fog is in the scent Fraser Fur and I love the packaging of these ones when they come with a decorated lid. I just think they, oh it's so good. I just think they look all the more festive. I also picked up this. Now I just thought this was such a bargain for what it is. $3.99 and it's a little gift sack. So I like to get these instead of gift bags at Christmas. I think it looks quite nice to be able to gift someone, if, especially if you've got a couple of items, to gift them within a little sack like this. The sacks are just all the more exciting. It kind of brings out that inner child. And then speaking of gift bags, this is one of the gift bags that I spotted at 199 that I thought looked really nice and simple. It just says Merry Christmas in like a gold font, gold ribbon handles, and it's kind of got like a mistletoe and pine cone pattern on the front in just a simple white easy 1.99 and then i also picked up this one again to go with the kind of simple vibe of the brown craft paper with the little white christmas trees and it just says merry christmas again this one was 1.99 i also saw these hand towels which i thought would look so good in the bathrooms at christmas they're 4.99 for a pack of two and they had loads of different designs this one was my favorite with the little farm fresh Spruce fir, cedar pine, Christmas trees. $4.99 for a pack of two. They have so many festive snacks. I did pick up a panettone. I only ever tend to get really the chocolate ones. So I saw this mini kind of individual portion chocolate panettone at £2.49. This decoration is so adorable. They did just wrap it in some bubble wrap for me. So it is on like a white ribbon at only £2.99. I think pretty much all of their baubles and things are priced at £2.99. This is a ceramic bell with a little grey snowflake and it has the actual bell on the inside as well. So not only does it look cute, it sounds cute too. And then a non-Christmasy white ceramic item is this from the pet section. It's just a little treat jar which is airtight and it has on the front woof embossed and I love the little bone handle at the top I just think that is so adorable this one was 9 99 another Christmas decoration that I picked up and nothing like this I own already that was a really long roundabout way of saying I don't own anything like this but I love the idea of having a Christmas tree decorated with the similar theme of like white champagne gold antique brass and just quite classy but minimal decorations that's what i'm going for and i love the idea of having every decoration as different so like one of each and this one i like i said i don't know anything like it it's a little christmas tree cushion decoration that 
I don't know, it's kind of like beaded at the front. It just looks super elegant and I just love it. I also picked up this one at 2 dollars This one I have similar things. I have these kind of like beaded design decorations, but I don't have this one. It's got this little hanging beaded decoration as well. So it's a little bit glitzy. It's these kind of tones that I love on a Christmas tree because when you switch on the Christmas tree lights, these just glisten beautifully without it being glittery and messy. So again, this one comes on a really nice organza white ribbon. I also got some Christmas gift wrap at 2 dollars Their gift wrapping is usually super strong and really good quality. It's from the brand George Stanley. It's just super simple brown craft paper with Merry Christmas in a kind of script font on there. And then TK Maxx, but predominantly, in fact, if not all homeware goods anyway, so it might as well be home sense. I got loads of fun bits for Barney for his Christmas, his first Christmas with me. So I picked up this stocking. They had a couple of these actually. They are $5.99 and you get quite a lot in there. I think they've kind of lost their place, which is maybe why they're quite cheap. But it's from the Cupid and Comet for Dogs, the Rosewood brand that I've got a few things in the past from. Delicious natural treats and toys. So there's a few treat bags in there and a few Christmassy toys. There's a tennis ball in there as well. In the shape of a stocking, obviously. I also picked up this. I think he's going to love this. It's the crinkle element. I think he's going to really love with that. $4.99 this one was. This one I got for him for now. I mean, this isn't really a festive thing, but I just love the look of it. Uh, $4.99 from Nandog. His first ever bed he had when he first came home was from there and it was super soft and cozy. Kind of wanted an adult sized one. Uh, but yeah, they do this fun little kind of puppuccino coffee dog toy. So this one is Magic Dental Twist. Chicken with peanut butter flavor stuffed twist. They feel really hard so I think he's going to take a while to eat these. $2.99. When I say a while, I'm talking more than 60 seconds, hopefully. So I also picked up a, another bauble. This one is a gorgeous glam bauble that has, this is why I like this one in particular. It has a antique brass lid, lid topper. $2.99. Again, like I said, they all seem to be $2.99. And again, it comes with the nice ribbon, like a white organza. It's quite heavy, this bauble. This is a very noisy one, but it's again a gift bag, but this time a reusable one. So it was only $1.99. It's got this little gold jingle bell on it. I love the fact that this is a canvasy linen gift bag that is reusable, not just for repurposing as a gift bag, but also if you wanted to keep it yourself as a decorative piece at Christmas or just a little, I don't know, you could put a little poinsettia in there or something. Then I also picked up this for some wrapping and I mainly got this for the actual wooden block that it comes on. So it's like a ribbon turnstile holder thing where all these move individually. And it was $7.99, I think. Yeah, $7.99. So for the three ribbons that you get, is great for one they have loads of different colors and varieties i went for this kind of bronzy coppery gold color predominantly i got it for the actual wooden block that i can repurpose and put different ribbon around once these ones have finished oh i also got some other treats to pop in barney's stocking this is a two pack of sweet potato festive antlers i also got this candle which is a throwback to a previous year was it last year or the year before i had this one and absolutely loved it it's again another sand and fog and this one is in the scent winter pine again it's got a little christmasy scene on the lid which is adorable it's honestly i mean it's very similar to fraser film let me just okay fraser fair is sweeter i prefer winter pine but they didn't have any of the winter pine in a bigger size, unfortunately. So I opted for, got some paper in my hair. I opted for this one at $7.99 and then the larger one at $12.99 in the Fraser Fair. Um, they didn't have smaller ones of this and they didn't have larger ones of this. Otherwise I would have switched these around. The last thing that I got from TK Maxx, something that I have spotted a few of them in HomeSense and TK Maxx. So they should have some if you're after this exact book. But it's the London Uprising by Tanya Fairs and Sarah Moe, 50 fashion designers, one city. It's at 27 99 But regardless, it is the aesthetic that I bought this for, as well as obviously the reading material. But I just love the way that this is a like brown paper book. So from the side, if you're stacking it, 
you can see the actual um, paper bit is brown. Love that. This is just the cover with the orange on. It's just actually the, once you take this cover off, it's just the white. Uh, white yellow it's also got a bit of dust on it which is annoying but it's also got the london uprising kind of embossed there on the binder but i just love the aesthetic of it honestly i think stacked this will be beautiful on display and like i said interesting reading material as well if you are into fashion have you ever seen a brown paper book like that i love it okay now on to some bits that i did pick up from the white company i have mentioned it previously but i'll just mention it again if you opt for the gift wrap option it costs five pounds you can't choose the size of the box online unfortunately you can in store though i think um and then i think they price it differently depending on the size as well but online it is five pounds if you click the option whereby you want to wrap it yourself and you just say to them include the box then this is my little nifty hack that i have whereby you get the box itself obviously which you can reuse and maybe have out on display to have things in but you also get given all the tissue paper in there which is just a lined white paper there's no branding on the tissue paper and then a little card and envelope that you could actually gift someone if you wanted to but you also get the stickers so on this occasion they gave me five it's a completely clear sticker that allows you to pop this on. I included it in my last white company dupes. You can pop it on like a glass dome or a glass um, jar or something that you keep in your bathroom with some cotton buds in. And it essentially brands up the item as the white company, even though you might've just got it from wherever, Poundland. And also I do quite like the fact that, you know, when I'm buying these things for myself, to add that gift wrap as an option, but to also keep it so that I have that box nicely flat pack so that I can get it out actually when I want to use it. Anyway, let's move on to showing you the items that I did actually pick up from the white company. The first thing is first, Fireside. I have to say, I think this is possibly my favorite scent the white company do ever. I'm a fan and I've been finding it really hard to get. I really want to get the little fragrance oil at 10 pounds. I can't find it. So as soon as it comes in online, it might be online now. I'll leave it linked if it is. If it comes in stock online, I'm going to be buying three. Um, so yeah, Fireside is smoked wood, birch and amber. It smells fantastic. The diffusers are 27 pounds. I do actually have a refill as well, but that's downstairs. But I'm going to get this one out first, use that. And then I have the spare refill. I did actually pick up an oil, so I got this one, which I had last year, and I still have a little bit left over from last year as well. Fir tree is beautiful. I popped this on potpourri. I popped this on, you know, if you get like a, an oil burner, you can pop a few bits in there, or the oil diffusers. I also picked up this, again, in Fireside. This is one of the room sprays. So whenever I have the Fireside scent going, I have the little room spray. These are 16 pounds, I think. Yeah, they are. And then I also got, like I said, for when we have the candle burning. Picked myself up a luxury 60 pound candle. I know that's a lot, but honestly, there's no smell like it. Fireside is just my favorite. And why not treat yourself as Christmas, hey? So yeah, and they do last a long while as well. So when this is burning, I use the room spray to complement it. And the oil, when I get it, the oil in the electric diffusers and oil burners to have the whole room smelling like fireside. So, not only did I pick up the fireside range, but when it gets to Christmas and into winter, I also like the fir tree. So I picked up the oil, as I've already shown you. I also picked up the 60 pound candle, the large eucalyptus pine and cedar. So this is probably my second favorite scent the white company do. Fireside, Fir Tree, Winter. Winter's obviously a classic. I think they're my top three scents, probably because they're the most festive. I've never tried Highland Escape, is it called? And that's a festive one. So maybe I should try that. But yeah, to go with that, I also picked up the Fir Tree Home Spray as well. I'm even thinking about maybe getting these out at the same time and having the Fireside within this kind of filming room and this floor, this like our bedroom and the back rooms and everything and then having fir tree downstairs where we'll have the christmas tree 
you know, like around from November sort of time, we'll, we'll use them. That's what I'm thinking anyway. Um, and that's everything I got. So a major treat from me to me. And I did take advantage of a 15% off code that I had when you sign up to their free brochures. You often get them when they send you out the seasonal new brochures with all the new stock, which is free of charge to do. So all you have to do is go onto their website and right at the bottom it says request a brochure. Well worth doing if you're a White Company fan, just have a browse through on a lovely Sunday afternoon with your morning coffee. So that is everything that I picked up. That's a few new homeware bits. I definitely want to head back to home sets, maybe do a bit of a come shop with me to show you guys the full range of what our local stores have, along with maybe picking some more festive Christmas decoration bits once I've gone through our decorations downstairs in the basement, because I just don't want to duplicate or buy things too similar. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Thanks again to you for very kindly sponsoring today's video. We're gonna get this up on the front of our house today snap some photos, head over to Instagram where you can see those. And of course, don't forget to enter the giveaway and take advantage of that discount code whilst it lasts. Thank you so, so much for watching. Thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more if you haven't already. And I would love, imagine if we got to like 100K next year. Ah! What a year that would be to have my 30th birthday in January and approach 100K to get one of them YouTube plaques. What a birthday treat that would be. Anyway, thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope to see you all very, very soon in my next video. Bye guys.